Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use Dow E open AI to make money offline like a Gary B hustler. Share this video with your good friends. We're going to be talking about an interesting idea on how you can get you some money. Now, I'm going to be using a tool. I'm going to be telling you the site that I, the tool that I'm using. But first, I'm going to demonstrate it. Let's jump over to Dell E. So, uh, it looks like I lost my cheat prompt, but I'm going to paste it again. So, I got this prompt, and I'm just going to modify it. This shows you how you can get creative. So this was a prompt that I stole from this resource that I'm going to share with you here in a second. And what I'm going to do is just change some of the terms here. So it talks about a close up of an ancient African wizard. So I'm going to change this to an ancient African farmer holding instead of a talisman, he's holding an ax. And he's not casting a spell. He is, he is, uh, he is staring at holding an axe. And no, he's not staring. He's crying. Can he be crying at the beach? No, he's not at the beach. He's in the woods. In the starlight as digital art. Can we leave him as starlight? We'll leave him as starlight as digital art. So let's generate this. Let's see what type of image we get. What I want you to understand is that you have an opportunity in sales. If you create something that's useful, that that's, touches people, look at this art. Now look at this art. Now you could take this image and you could print it on a particular, like a, a quality material, and you could sell this image. You go to the right event, the right audience, the right crowd, and now you're able to take these images, have them framed and matted, and put together a little booth where you literally could be selling prints on location offline the point of this video is all about how you can hustle like Gary V and a lot of what he does especially from the side hustle standpoint is offline let's look at some of these other ones I like this one the best this one is okay but I like this first one the best and so we could go in and get variations of it and this just shows you just real quickly what you can do. I'm going to I'm going to show you right here in a second where I got the prompt from. But first, I want to see these other variations. Now, you could use this and tell a story. You can give these images character names. You can get very creative, but you didn't have to paint. You didn't have to paint it. All you'd have to do is pay to get them matted. And now you would have something for sale. I want to share with you the name of the tool I'm using. It's called Prompt Hero, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, you can use this to get interesting prompts that you can then modify and use for another purpose. All right. This is a pink ape astronaut in space holding a claymate. So if we steal this prompt, jump back over here to D to dial E. So it's talking about a pink ape astronaut in space. Okay, so can't we do a yellow cat astronaut in space holding a Holding, what, what would a cat in space be holding? Holding a mouse in a photorealistic style digital art. All right. It's really that, that simple. Let's see what we get. And I'm just modifying the prompts that I started off with. 
but this gives you an idea on what you can do. Let's see what it gives us. So check this out. Just like that. I mean, this is just out of control. I've been I've been playing with this tool so much, so I'm almost getting numb for how incredible it is. But do you have any idea how much effort it would take to create an image like this using Photoshop or using any of the traditional image tools? Now you got four to choose from. I like this one the best. I can get me some variations. And I'm doing all of this while I'm talking to you like it's nothing. You could obviously use these images for blog posts or other digital content that you could be uh, dealing with. You probably could even use these images for an NFT. I guarantee you these images look better than some of the NFT images that I have seen. All right, so I'm going to jump back over to another example. Let's find one that we kind of find to be kind of interesting. This is a really cool image right here. This says that this is a desperate middle-aged man, utterly depressive, drowned in sorrow, okay? So let's see if we can turn that frown literally upside down. So he's not desperate. Now he's optimistic. He's an optimistic and he's not middle aged. He's an he is an elderly man. And he is utterly um let's see, he is an optimistic elderly man who is uh what can we say he is excited and he is extremely happy an optimistic elderly man excited and extremely happy now I don't know if this is gonna give us a good one or not but let's see what it gives us I probably didn't get enough to describe it this is what it gave this guy which is pretty good it's a pretty cool image. Let's see what we got. We want an optimistic elderly man, excited and extremely happy. Look at what we got. Look at that. Look at that. We got some elderly happy dudes, man. Look at that. It's just out of control what you can do with this tool. And I'm just here to help you see the opportunities and see the examples. Make sure you subscribe at howy.ai. It's all about how to grow your business with artificial intelligence. When you subscribe, you're going to get all the tips, 12 businesses you can start today with artificial intelligence, and the 31 apps to use in your business now. I'm going to give you one last example. Let's jump back over to Prompt Hero and see if something catches our eye that we can modify. What are we like? Look at that cat image. Somebody was copying our cat prompt. Did they? Let's see something that's pretty cool. We already did a astronaut. Here is a cartoon style. Let's take a look at this. Is it going to let me take a look at it? Okay, this is a manga cartoon style image main guy okay so let's go back over here and let's tell dial e that we're dealing with a manga style cartoon image of a instead of a unicorn pegasus we're going to be dealing with a silver back gorilla silver back gorilla silver back gorilla Silverback Gorilla Bear Hybrid Animal and it's not flying through the clouds it is running in a field on a running in a field 
on uh, let's see it's running on a field running in a field on a farm okay there you go let's see what we get a manga cartoon all right let's see what we get here in the meanwhile make sure you subscribe how why dot AI that's the whole point we're trying to learn how to use this new tools just it reminds me back in the day when Google came out it's such a impressive tool so here is our image we got the gorilla we didn't get very much of a hybrid there but just kind of gives you an example of what you can do let me see if I can find a better one that's the manga rope that's the manga here's one that's pretty cool this is really cool right here let's see if we can modify this one real quick that is what does it say here shining leopard wearing a cyborg helmet walking in snow a shining leopard what about a shining jaguar because we're going to win the super bowl this year that's right wearing a side a shining jaguar wearing a cyborg helmet wearing a cyborg helmet walking in snow walking in rain digital art all right let's see what we got here we just modified a couple words let's see what we get we're in the future we're going to a whole nother level and now we can generate images that are totally game changer i mean if you're into science fiction or if you were writing something creative in that way look at the images that you're working with now and what i wanted to show you was that some of these images are so impressive that you could actually print these and sell them. So it just depends on the audience and what you are, or you know, what that audience interest is. If it's a music festival, then you'll probably uh, do better with those types of items. But I just wanted to share you one opportunity of how you could create these images and then turn around, print them, and sell them physically at music festivals and events like that especially with the spring coming up so thank you for checking out this video make sure you share it with your good friends and subscribe at howwhy.ai to get all of the goodies and you also get my email address if you have any questions about how to implement artificial intelligence into your situation thank you so much until the next time, I'm Darnell Jackson. Peace.